Alright, pretty much this is going to be a shoutcast for a game I did, but my shoutcast didn't work. Um, for some crazy reason. I played least in support. I think in the end I've got 18 kills. Um, bottom lane, basically doing a kill lane, which basically means I let the AD get the farm, but we both go for kill the champions, and that's what I do. I kill the champions. And they go crazy. You can take you can you can take leasing out of jungle, but you can't take the jungle out of leasing, baby. Get them get them speed shoes. I gang bottom lane, mid lane, come back down. Oh yeah, it's crazy. The one thing I do remember here at the beginning is you're gonna see the worst and I mean the worst queue by leasing you will ever see. Ever. I even fucking joking. It is disgusting. Let's speed it up a little bit. This is this is the benefit of it not being a live stream. Because you don't want to be stood here basically, we're waiting for one minute and fifty. Um and then we're gonna go in that jungle, so I'm gonna get a bit close to the time. One minute and thirty, one minute forty. Here we go, here we go. Get ready for the worst queue you will ever see. Here it comes. What's this? What's this? <laughs> oh shit! Epic that queue was. Absolutely epic. It was that bad that just to get an assist, I had to flash the puncher because I've used my queue. And my queue, by the way, is Sonic Wave. So yeah, we've got first blood, which is always good. Um, now we stroll across mid. Speed up a little bit, nothing goes on here for a while. For a while, it's just a bit of farming. Basically, the name of the game here for me is um, just get there in the car where I can like just, just do a bit of damage on him now in this video you're going to see I play a damage dealer but I also always try and keep my AD carry alive priority um, cause that's what you are, you are still a support but you're like a, you're, a, you're an attacking support if you get what I mean the blank almost got a little square with Wukong up top, oh this is so bad by Wukong, what's this he stands still, what's this I mean have you ever seen anything like it in your entire life damn again saving my AD carry jump onto him with a leap um, just because I, I can give him a shield LeBlanc's got a kill, that's nice LeBlanc is good in this game, the rest of them are absolutely terrible I'm not going to lie absolutely fucking disgusting that's why I took it up on myself to, to not give this as real kills because later on I realised he's very average, here we go I mean I get first blood there, well not first blood but I kill this guy and he's, you know what I mean, he doesn't engage Which Cholgath is a shocking jungler as well. It's basically a shit top lane of average AD carry. Disgusting jungler. And a support who's just a killing machine. I mean, what good's a fucking Cholgath if you can't land his fucking moves? No, it's as well, man, like his face checking the bushes. Um, it's just a hobby of his, I guess. He does it all the fucking time, LeBlanc. There I am, saving him again. Fucking bush checking, we missed that because I wasn't paying attention, but once again, he was checking the bush. I leaped onto him, shielded him, and killed the guy on him.
trying not to miss any of the action, so it's not as boring. It is quite an action-filled game, mainly on my part. Once I get a few kills, I just get carried away. Wants to go in, it looks like. So, like again, I'll just save my queue. If I have my queue, just go in there, beat the crap out of him. I don't know what the hell Ezreal's doing. Just decided to stop and just farm, which is fair enough. Let's see, I'm still like on my wards down and shit, I'm still supporting. Yep, Wukong getting absolutely fucking destroyed again. And then this Cho'Gaff, I've not seen this part, but I can imagine Cho'Gaff missing all his skills. I, I can see it now. Oh, just run Cho'Gaff, save yourself, mate. Pure spoil releasing, the Star Wars put your shield on him like the Star Wars, gives it you, it gives it him. Cost you nothing. At this point at least he's getting fair fed, she's like 2 0, 38 farm, our top lane is Wukong, where is he on 18 farm, 1 and 2. At this point. Second, you're gonna see some epic, epic, epic Ezreal face checking again. The blanks doing all right. Cho'Gaff doing the usual Cho'Gaff thing, which is fuck all. No, I've gone back right. Prime example of a, just a a, a new baby carry. He's signaling, saying they're missing. Yeah, he knows they're missing. What does he do? Run straight over. I'm just going to look in this bush, look at this. Right, what's, what's this now? What's this for epic? I'll slow this down. This this is needs, look at his HP. This is what you call supporting to the max. Now he's there, big dog's here. Slow, slow motion. Now you see um, he goes through his grab. But luckily I put a shield on and he grabs me, watch with a flash. And he hooks me. So I do my um, crippling, hit them both, save his ass, kick this guy's ass twice. Boom, in your ass, bitch. In your ass. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? I left him for a second if Ezreal came back, but he didn't. So what did I do? Just kicked him right back in his ass again. And that is our role. Did the usual. Took all his farm, realised Ezreal's absolutely noob. Face check in the bush. At this point, I've come to the conclusion that Cho'Gaff is absolutely useless as well. Um, so, like a man on a mission, I thought, you know what, I'm going to have to come do this myself. I'm going to have to come do this my fucking self. Booyah. Support, support killing machine. Are you worried, Cho'Gaff? You just, what's the support doing in here? I'll show you, I'll show you how to jungle this support. Try signaling the blank to come and get blue, so I'm gonna go back anyway and buy. But obviously the blank's got something better to do. So oh, fuck it, Cho'Gaff, I ain't pulling it for you. He's dead. Cho'Gaff's dead, sorry. So at this point, I think can Cho'Gaff kill him on his own? For can he fuck? Don't be silly, it's Cho'Gaff. So jump in again, kill this clown. Um, I don't think anything goes on here at the moment. Nothing's going down. Speed up a bit, Elise is coming in. Cho'Gaff's got caught. Ezreal, 
is down here with Wukong for some reason. I don't know what Wukong's doing there. These people do amaze me. At this point, I'm pretty fed. I've got my, I've got my wriggles, my um, bit of mobility. Just because just I've seen this Cho'Gath ganking and I thought to myself, uh, he's going to do no fucking good. So I realised I was going to be the tank, the initiator, the fucking CC, uh, everything apart from the hardcore masturbator. Um, Cause that's later on, and that's that's pretty much what I have to do in this game to win. No, if I probably wasn't, a, if I was someone like Tarik, we'd never win this game because the top lane's dog shit. Here, Ezreal shows why he's just dog shit. He's not he's not even attacked this guy once yet. Not attacked him. He just ran in and got grabbed. But luckily, I killed him with red ignite, so we got, you know, we got like an even Steven. But fucking Ezreal's absolutely shit. V's not scared at all. Just got by so whatever. Just in our jungle, no wards, doesn't give a shit what's Chogak gonna do. Top lane, she could probably go AFK and kill Wukong. Um and Ezreal could die to minions. And that's that's the way I'm summing this game up. At this point I'll probably go and get a oh no, I got a plus two machines first. I must be planning on some proper ganking here. Looks like I'm heading top. Oh, I think this is the part where we, we, we end up in a 3 on 3 fight. Something crazy. Now that shot should have landed, I don't care what anyone says. I've seen it twice, it proper lands. At this point it's me and Wukong, we have no faith in whatsoever, so... We get in the fight. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, they get a third person come down, and like the clueless. Look at him. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna run into the boss. Face check when you can see him. So I have to ulti, and, like knock the bitch away. Save him. Save him again. At this point, I did see LeBlanc coming in, so I thought, fuck it, I'm just going in. Punch the face, boom! Yeah, you like that, don't you? Yeah. So the tower hits all the blanks, so she watch and I save her just by putting the shield on her. That's why I say always put that fucking you know, always put that fucking iron will on her. I just call it shield, I don't give a fuck what the actual name is. Could be called a pink flaming dildo, I don't care. It's a shield. Um that's pretty much all I remember off the top of my head. Um, bot lane looks like he's all gonna die again. So, I don't remember much from here on, so I'm gonna have to call it as I see it. Um, I'm pretty fed here though, so if Ezra just follows me and I'm uh, pretty much dead. But like Ezreal, for some reason, he's AFK behind the tower, playing with his ass, so I don't know what he's doing. Uh, looks like smashing going down in mid, but I'm sure I'll engage soon, I don't fuck around me. There we go, yeah. That shield, like a boss. Quick kill for Ezreal. Like it's all going down in mid, all going down in mid. Wukong. Too strong. Oh, chill gap with a big play. Oh, boom. I think, I'm pretty sure he turns around and kills chill gap now to top it off. <laughs> Enough said. You saw it here firstly. This is so bad by me. I wait so I can queue him, yeah? So I don't hit the minions and I actually fucking miss him by miles. What's this? I, I turn around. I turn around at some point. So he got he got away due to the fact of me missing a queue like a fucking knee. And the fact that I actually ran past the minions so that I could get an easy shot on him and I still missed it. Just make a go on my cry to be honest. Um, let's 
going uh, what's going down anyway. Fast forward it a bit, try and make this video a bit shorter. Oh, at least his pinging is going on for a gank. Yeah, making the big plays. Look at that! Have you ever seen a Have you ever seen a gang so fucking highly coordinated and killing the minions? It's like Elise Anvia coming down. I think I kicked this bitch away now. She lives. Oh my god! Yeah, I did. But we come like a champ. I would dive him. Pretty sure I go crazy with my shield there, guarding everyone. The virus wants me dead. She don't give a fuck about Wukong, she just wants me. She can't have me. Sure, we're all dead, nothing happens here apart from my farm top. Push it dead quick. Okay, let's slow it back down. Jogath jumping the minions. <coughs> I'm not I'm just gonna wait now until until it's like some kind of place coming in. It's could be now. He says we're on the ball, is he ready? No. Ping him, we're going in, we're going in, we're ping him, there's a lot of pings. I missed my Q, like a dickhead. Even if I landed my Q, we never would have fucking got anyone, because everyone else was still fucking farming. It's like, let's ping for a big fucking gank and I'll just stand there. She doesn't care about anyone else, she just wants to be me. Keep back in your face, bitch, I'm coming by you. Yeah, how does she like that? How does she like that? I've got a full bag of DP and I ain't got no lube, mate. I ain't got no lube. We can't make a big play till I point down by him. Go and mess around. Chill gaff. And his um, zero effective ganks. This point, Chogas just doing what he's been doing all game. Fuck all. Dying with style, I like to call it. Wukong holds his now, he could kill that bitch. <coughs> Um, you know, said about Jogaf really. In this fucking bronze, it doesn't seem like anyone can use fucking Jogaf. Here we go, LeBlanc going in for some big play. Simple as that. Lane pushing like a boss. Not much as you can do about that apart from just go away and not fucking die. Oh, Chogaf is coming down for something big, some big play. Yep, nice, Joe, nice. Why well, they're all dicking around? I think I take both the towers.
D with a fail. Fail. Yeah, you ain't going nowhere, fool. You ain't going nowhere. See that shit? Boom, get out of my face. Double kill support, are you? Imagine what I could be doing to these fuckers if I actually had a top lane or something. Or I could some farm. I mean, what fucking minions have I got? Fucking hell, I've somehow caught up 66. That tells, that tells you how good our top lane is. He's on 70 fucking 1. 3 kills, 5 deaths. I don't like what's just going on here. Speed up a bit. I don't know what's going on here, we're going to find out. Edgefield's going for a big play. Oh, don't panic, Cho'Gath's got your back. Very nice by Elise. I've said, so I'm sure there's going to be a big play coming. I'm talking fucking big. I'm talking Ron Jeremy big. <laughs> Here I come to start the day. Knowing, knowing my team have got my back. You know what I mean? There's, nothing, there's no more satisfying feeling than knowing your team has got your back like these guys have got my back. Kick me from in some more. A blank look as she's paying her fucking attention to what day of the week it is. Here we go now, big engage. Oh, it's literally all of life, all of life. Oopsie daisy. Miss Elise is good. This, what is this guy doing? Speed up a little bit. So Wukong's decided the most important thing at this point in time is to get them get them wolves. But we let that shit go. He cannot land a skill to save his fucking life. Can't scatter the army. Look what this fucking weak on the What is he gonna do? Wow. Waste your fucking ulti on one person, a support on top of that. Here I come, clear up crew, they call me, clear up crew. Triple kill, triple kill support. I ain't fucking around lads, I ain't fucking around. I need to get out of this bronze quick. <laughs> At this point I'm pretty fed like 1636. Um so that for really these dickheads are gonna die as good as dead. Big 
this point, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm fucking this bitch up in mid. But she's quite fed as well. At least she's on my like fucking shitload of farm. Good gear. I'm like we're getting a fight and all the blanks going on. I know she's fucking good, but four on one. Does she think she is me? Fucking cheeky bitch. Here we go, pushing down mid, big play coming. Oh, there we go. I'm engaging on three like a wanker. Wukong, ulti. No, nothing. Don't worry about me, we've gone. Don't worry about me. Don't you worry about me. You just, you just use your clone, mate. You try, you use that ulti when you feel need. Shogaf, just standing in the middle of the wall. I don't know what the fuck he's supposed to be doing. Ezreal decides instead of fucking using his range, he's gonna literally just walk into fucking melee range. So, the only way we can win this game is LeBlanc, basically. She's good. <laughs> this point, I think I told my team to stop fucking going for kills and let's just all push mid. As I put a ward down, I see him in blue, so. Why not go and kill him? Eh? That's what I say to myself. Go steal, go steal that blue and get that kill. At this point, Jogaf is still in his own fucking normal world. No, I was like a like a thought. Everything, everything I do is highly fucking highly highly tactical. Just follow blanks to come in and do some cleanup. There you go, one. Wukong's taking tower bottom, good boy. Speed up a bit until some shit happens. Like in a fire bomb lane. No. No, nothing's happening. Alright, at this point, um, I'm getting dragon solo, support style. You tell me how much support you see solo in dragon, that's what I want to know. And I'm in full HP, so I roll. <coughs> so, my tip to anyone who does, who plays, and you want to know people like me who's like, oh, for fuck's sake, I'm support. Go kill Lane. Go kill Lane and you're good with. I like playing Lee Sing because he's got the shield, he's got the slow, he's got the range, he's got the poke. Um, Pantheon's good as well, he's got a stun, some range. Nice engage with his stun and his ulti. Um, Rolly Bear's good. You know, if you if you do not like supporting, supporting Sir Akatarik, you know, luck style, then it's, you've got to get good with one of them. Here comes, here comes a big play, coming from behind. I don't want to engage on the fucking support, so I'm going to at least because she's fair fed. You know. This. Ezreal, standing still. I'm running into Elise, he said away from Elise, luckily. We're all there. I'm waiting for Vi to get out of the way so I can cure her ass. I, didn't, I knew she was going to use that move, and then I won't miss her. Anti climax.
fight turns out, if I'm being perfectly honest. I mean, as you can see, like, if I wouldn't have been killing people so easy, we'd probably lose this game because Cholgaf's absolute dog shit. Wukong is fucking very average. And <coughs> Ezreal has the position of a fucking. literally of a blind man. Now, Wukong, literally, why the Valkyrie Chalash should literally just do a clone, come through the bush that way, yeah, I'll go around, crack a clone, get in between them all, ulti. But he's there, he's just standing in the fucking bush, like watching us all just get poked. And now he comes in. It's like, you don't have to be a fucking gauger. It's probably I've got no HP, but I thought, fuck it. I'll shield everyone. I don't know why I'm at the front of the fucking queue with this HP. You know what I mean? I'm just, just, I'm just asking to get killed. You know, I take criticism as well as giving it. That was fucking stupid by me. I don't know what the fuck I was doing. What a dickhead. What an absolute dickhead that Lee Sin is. Hey? Eh? But if you want to make yourself feel better, watch fucking Chogath. Yes, he landed one. Beast. I guess you can land one in 50. Here he comes. Here we go. You know, we've kind of got something planned here. I'm, I'm feeling a flash knock up. Yeah, there we go, there we go. There we go, chomp. Chomp that motherfucker, chomp him, chomp him. No, chomp him. Take him and I've got chomp up. Yeah, he does, but he'd prefer using on a fucking minion. I think around this point I say something can we just fucking push me and then this shit. No, I just pretty much go for Elise in these fights, just because she's a fucking she's a crack or oh, the AD carry. It's a fucking Baron versus a Dragon, who's gonna win? Watch this Ezreal instead of coming to Baron starts farming top. Look, yeah. Fucking I'm pinging it like, mate. We could do some fucking damage over here. What is he gonna do? Get ready, get ready. Look at, look at him, what the fuck, what the fuck. And Shogaf's going in, one man. At this point, Ezreal, like the fucking boss he is, has been thinking. In my defence there, I don't know what happened, but I planned on going in and kicking the front guy. <laughs> and doing some kind of fucking bowling shot and knocking them all out for eight, but as soon as I got in there... Right, I don't know if anyone can silence me, but I just remember I just didn't, didn't get my ulti off. As I said, this, this Ezreal is just a piece of dog shit warmed up. As I said, it's, just, it's a good job that little band we got because everyone else was just fucking dying. You know what I mean? They were in one fucking group fight and they take the towers. I 
I think we can get this clown in bar lane. Pretty sure we pretty sure we go and kill him. After someone there's a bit of excessive pings, six pings. Part away, and then what do I do? Get him out, get him out of the action. You can't tank shit. What do I do? Keep flying, kick him in his face. Chug after another big play there. I think he's landing her out here. Oh, oh, oh fuck. I might re add that blackjack. Well, not re add, add that blackjack guy because he was really good. Fuck that Ezreal ulti was then. It's Cholgath, doing what Cholgath does best. Callum Fodder. I'm pretty much just going to fast forward until I spawn, because until I spawn, fuck all going to happen. It's as simple as that. Cholgath might die again, that's about it, yep. Yeah. Cholgath dies. Be my tanky duties, there's Elise, like I said, I just want to kill that bitch straight off the bat. The blank doing good, staying out of range until the cooldowns come around and poking in, do some crazy ass damage. I think we just turn around and fucking kill him here at this point. After as we all fails like always. Put me in the blind let's fuck him up. Shield the blind, so flying kicking there like a boss. Say my name. That's what I say to him, say my name. Um let's just watch Joe Gaff in action. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Yep, like always, hangs around too long because he's fucking dead. Take them six spiders up your ass. Luckily, fucking Super Sin is in the bush. Really fucking save him. Danzel in distress. Kick that bitch right across the side. She thought she thought she got away though, she thought she got away what? That was good. At this point I thought they'll just kill this bitch easy and I thought, well I'm gonna have to come over and get her. You know what I mean? Fucking disgusting that Chogath is. If I could I'd turn around and give him a fucking ulti at a principal. <laughs> just kick him in his fucking head. Ezreal. Pushed in the lane I hope. No, yeah, yeah. So this is where this is where the magic starts. Just always keep your guard and everyone, that's what I'm doing.
<clears throat> Come to this point, I think I decided when this, when this minion wave comes up, I right, have the next push, I just think I'm taking this fucking tower. I don't give a fuck about you, yeah, ignore, ignore him. Ignore that, and I'll go back in a second and finish this fucking tower off. Right, I might be on the next push. I, don't, I just get fucking bored and start pushing the towers. Here we go, yeah. It didn't really work that too successful. I remember it being more, uh, more fucking epic in my memory. Okay, let's see if Ezreal dies. We shall put more money on. No. Kong doing what he does best, jumping and die. Ezreal doing what he does best, diving in with his fucking with his um with his A, which is like an escape, pretty much. But it's no, no, no. In Ezreal's world, it's a fucking engage in between all four of them. Balls deep. Fuck, I haven't even got wellies on. You know what I mean? His balls deep. At this point, I don't think I realise I've got no one in there. Apart from Big Dog Cho. This guy's no match for Cho, guys. No match. I don't even know, I still remember ending that, I thought it was more fucking epic. Well, there's a win, there's a, an example of I, how I play support. I don't play fucking Tarik or anything like that. Unless I'm with somebody and I'm duo win and I know they can carry as an AD carry, I recommend you go someone you can carry with them. That's an example of how to do it. Maybe a bit less ballsy, but you get the idea.